Namaste, I'm Nidhi Kumar, your host for today's session. We're extremely excited to bring to you Eat Right India Initiative of FSSAI, adopted by Herbalife Nutrition. And Herbalife is all committed to make us all healthy and safe in their series of this initiative. Also acknowledging our broadcasting partners, the Josh app, Daily Hunt, One India, and of course, the Mitro app. So I'd like to extend a very firm and welcome to all of you who are watching us today. Join us today to discuss key trends shaping the future of physical activity, exercise and fitness and the opportunities and challenges of engaging more people to be active and what actions are needed to strengthen the workforce and connect effectively with the health sector. Welcoming our guest for today, the diva, singing diva of India, Shivani Kashyap who's actively working in Bollywood, film industry, yoga, and fitness as well. My first question to you, Shivani, uh, would be that COVID-19 has impacted all of us in different ways. Whether it's access to facilities, programs, services, it has heightened the importance of physical activity for mental and physical health for everyone. However, it has also shown us inequalities in health and in physical activities. A jingle from you uh, to, you know, a big shout out to Herbalife Nutrition and a jingle. Yes, uh, here's to Herbalife Nutrition, stay healthy and happy always. And of course, at the on onset of the pandemic, when, uh, you know, when COVID had just started, uh, I had made a song, I had made a jingle, and I think this jingle is still extremely relevant. So here's to good health and Herbalife Nutrition. Social distancing, bar bar hand washing, social distancing. Thank you. Shivani, so my first question to you now would be, uh, please share a few simple tips uh, that we can follow to boost immunity and stay healthy. What exactly do you do? So, you know, I think uh, as a singer, luckily, you know, I've always been practicing some amazing things which uh, helped me to stay away from Corona for these two years. Um, of course, I did get a, a small bout of the Omicron just recently, but Omicron is a mild uh, variant, as we all know. And we are double vaccinated, luckily, and we have our immunity. So, but the, but the scary one was the one which was the first wave and the second wave, as we all know. Mm -hmm. So, well, gargling in the morning is really, really important. So, when you wake up in the morning, your morning rituals, set and that pretty much sorts out your immunity, your metabolism, your energy levels, everything. So, well, first thing in the morning, I definitely uh, gargle with the uh, saline water. I, I do steam inhalation. I do yoga. I do pranayam. And uh, in terms of, uh, you know, my diet and nutrition, I definitely have a glass of warm water with turmeric. Turmeric is one of my most favorite desi superfoods, as, as you would say. Because mm -hmm. it has the most amazing properties and qualities. And I'm sure that the nutritionists and specialists would be able to elucidate and elaborate on that. But yes, uh, for one, it's anti-inflammatory. It's an antioxidant. Uh, and uh, if you add a dash of lemon to this, uh, when you drink this, it just uh, detoxifies you beautifully. 
and you are clean and good to go for the day. And then you can have a nice hearty breakfast so that your metabolism is good. Your blood count is good because what I learned from the pilots, you know, I, I've been traveling a lot all my life. And what the pilots do is the first thing in the morning, they have a very hearty breakfast because they have to fly. So their blood count levels must be uh, mm. good. It, it, they must be at a good proper level. Otherwise, you know, it could be dangerous for everyone on the flight also. So yeah, here are a few things which are mandatory for my life and which have kept me healthy and immune and strong and energetic. Which desi superfoods do you swear by Shibani? As I just said, uh, turmeric, haldi, uski many properties bhi aapko thi, we give it anti-inflammatory. It's a very good antioxidant. Saal se hai, saal se prescribe Haan, log, in fact, we are very, we are a very fortunate country because we have certain spices and herbs which are like magical. So I think the uh, Indians ki jo immunity, hai, I think worldwide, it is supposedly uh, the best because of the kind of spices and uh, the desi superfoods that we, we consume by default. But haldi ko, jase akha haldi hoti hai, if you just kind of boil it in water uh, and or make it a part of your kara or, and tulsi. Tulsi is another very, 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 uh, you know, my, uh, my favorite uh, desi superfood. Tulsi is also very, it's, an, it's a lovely antioxidant. So yeah, these, these two are, and, and I pretty much begin my day by boiling these two and making it a part of my kara. Of course, I put a little bit of pepper also, dalchini and, uh, you know, adra also. Maybe amla also, a little bit? Yes, amla, I, I wouldn't mix it with all of these. But yes, amla is also, kacha amla, if you have it uh, in the morning again, it's, it's, it's awesome. So basically, uh, starting your day with this, Drinking this and uh, this kara with the superfoods ka extract in it. Giloi is also very, very good. Giloi is super for immunity. So you get giloi growing wildly in, in parks and jungles and gardens. So you giloi ka a twig cut, ki usko, just boil it in the water. Drink that also. You can just, just keep uh, sipping it and drinking it through the, through the day. It's, it's fantastic for your immunity. So I think we are a blessed country with all these kind of plant-based herbs and, and, and superfoods which are growing all around us and we should really worship them because they are our saviors. Good. And which desi superfoods do you swear by and how much is munching between meals necessary? Uh, desi superfoods, I just told you, tulsi yeah. and uh, turmeric are my most favorite. Uh, desi ghee as well. Uh, munching in between meals, see, I think that depends on uh, from person to person. Uh, I pretty much have a, a good uh, breakfast, so I don't really need to munch in between breakfast and, and lunch, really. Uh, that is, if you don't keep too much of a gap between the meals. If you keep, keep too much of a gap, then you can munch on nuts or fruits. So that's, that's pretty good. But munching on things like, uh, you know, chips, which have trans fat in them, or biscuits, or brownies, or those kind of things, then that's not good. Very good. Um, Tell us, um, did the lockdown inspire you to try new kind of diets as well? So there's one diet that I've always tried and it's, all, it's always worked very well for me. And the reason I think uh, even the nutritionists and, and doctors would tell us is I have done intermittent dieting. So it is it ranges from 14 hours to 16 hours and pretty much I think it's a very, uh, it's a good way of being because sometimes if you are on the move especially or lockdown mein hum bhaag jab nahi ja pa rahe the to run and do our uh, physical exercises properly so uh, finish your dinner by say 9 o'clock 8 o'clock or whatever and then once you sleep and when you wake up straight and um, have only lunch so i try intermittent uh, dieting uh, but not all the time i do it maybe after once in once in 3 months and it, it, it's very good cleanser cleansing element also it uh, you know, the sugar levels are controlled in that. And people who are prone to getting diabetic or whatever, it's very good for those people because it actually controls the sugar levels. When you're not having anything, when you're not consuming any food for 14 hours, that 14 hour diet, usme half the time you're sleeping and then you're waking up and maybe exercising. It's amazing. So it's worked very well for me. Great. Acha, when it comes to effective weight loss, uh, one food that you feel you could swear by? Swear by in terms of giving up or not giving up? Not giving up. 
so any food which is high on fiber uh, i wouldn't give up quinoa i wouldn't give up uh, brown rice i wouldn't give up give up maybe i would give up breads and, and rotis any anything which has gluten in it or wheat in it uh, just give that up you will definitely uh, see instant weight loss as it is uh, and sugar i would give up sugar i would actually uh, replace sugar with gourd or shakar mm. absolutely and uh, what do you do for boosting immunity otherwise uh, generally i mean fresh air walking in addition to what you said you have do you go in for supplements like vitamin c or something i like? do yes uh, so i believe that i really believe a lot in supplements like vitamin c uh, you know maybe all essential vitamins in one uh, omega 3 omega 3 milti nahi hai kisi you know you don't it's not available in uh, in our foods readily it's basically fish oil and it in some fish you get omega but it's very rare so having omega 3 in your body is very important so you have to have it in a supplement form vitamin c uh, d3 uh, bahut important hai because sometimes we don't get enough of the sun especially jo lockdown ke time pe everybody had was stuck indoors or some people are are, are pl- staying in places where they're not really exposed to the sun sun is very important so d3 uh, supplement lena bahut important hai um uh, so so these are a few supplements which i definitely start my day with absolutely and before we go on to your next question i would request you naya sa gana jo aapka dhoom kar raha hai aajkal wo ga dijiye oh sure aajkal <laughs> well i'm going to sing jogia for all of you yeah jogi one of my favorites thank you another favorite of mine which you, which was your first song and um, abhijit was really really thrilled with that song can we have that one also i love sajna it. abhijit was in that ha sajna abhijit okay sajna abhijit sajna that was the lovely shivani kashyap singing one of my favorite songs listen to shivani kashyap singing in sajna abhija acha now um my next question to you is cheat on your diet skipping a workout what is your preference kya kya karte ho kabhi kabhi to ho jata hai na hum sabhi se of course yeah it's not possible to and it's fun to sometimes uh, cheat you know So what's on your cheat sheet generally? A pizza or something? Yeah, I I really have a weakness for pizzas. You just said it, and you're making me. I remember. That's what I'm saying. Wow, <laughs> you're making my mouth water now <laughs> for a pizza. Yeah, actually, you know, I would rather cheat diet. I mean, sometimes uh, do a sinful, delicious thing rather than not work out. Because you know, even if you eat something. in excess or eat something which is so called wrong uh, you can burn it off you can burn it off by running or walking or doing yoga or something like that so i would not i would try and not like to miss my exercise or my workout all right how do you balance a busy schedule with a healthy lifestyle because your schedule is really packed 
well these days it's luckily quite quite chilled out but yes for the past two three months i was living in an aeroplane living out of a suitcase and i didn't know when it was you know when the day would just finish off because there were so many concerts i i was in the us for 15 days uh, performing back to back five shows and i landed on the day uh, that i had a show so i don't know how i managed to do it because i was going quite quite crazy so yes uh, you know when you're in the flight especially so you you can you that time you really do, uh, don't have anything else to do but you can stretch beach mein do a bit of stretches um, so there there are certain stretches that you can do in the flight which can actually uh, compensate for a mini workout i would say mm-hmm. so whenever you have little time even when you when i'm in the studio before i i start recording like i exercise my vocal cords i just do my and I, i would just maybe touch my toes do some stretches do some running on the spot kind of a thing one minute do two minutes running on the spot kar liya and uh, here in mumbai i live on the fifth floor my apartment is on the fifth floor so i try not to use the elevator i try to run up and down whenever i'm stepping out to wo aap apne aap mein ek chhota sa exercise ho jata hai so these kind of things absolutely and in the end my question to you is how do you define your purpose of making the world healthier and happier well i just think you know being healthy and you know that proverb that um, you know early to bed and early to rise uh, makes makes a man healthy well and wise yeah so actually that's true because if you get your proper sleep you, you know some people think that we have apna jo sleep hai na wo power nap mein compensate kar lenge ye kar lenge wo kar lenge but actually the the right way of being is to go to bed early and wake up early Uh, salute the sun with a surya namaskar when you do yoga and actually breathe in the fresh air and the sun rays in the morning which are so precious so valuable to your skin to your eyes to your full being you know so that is why it makes you healthy wealthy and wise because if you're healthy you will be wealthy and wise because you will be ha- having the capability of uh, doing whatever conquering the world and doing your, doing good work but i truly feel that your stomach defines your destiny if you are stomach is like i would say more of a metaphor here but yes if you eat right your gut you are, absolutely like you eat right you're healthy your destiny will also be defined because of that absolutely and on that note i'd like to thank you for joining us today and sharing your views with us to conclude the trend is now to focus on healthy food intake as a primary fitness goal when healthy eating habits become a lifestyle we are healthier and happier I'd like to thank the Joe Shop Daily Hunt Metro Man India to create this one of a kind digital event that has brought us together a special shout out to FSSAI Eat Right Foundation and of course Herbal Life Nutrition thank you for supporting us in this our endeavor thank you shibani namaste